It's that time of the year, guys. It is zucchini season, and everybody I know with a garden, obviously except for myself because I have a black thumb, is calling me with, what do I do with zucchini, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you all should be making me double chocolate chip zucchini bread and dropping it off, here's my address. So today I'm gonna show you how to make it. So if you have zucchini coming out of your years or it's at the farmer's market for like five cents, go grab a bunch of it and let's make this. It all comes together in our stand mixer. So let's get into it. First thing we're gonna start with is a cup of vegetable oil. You could also totally use coconut oil. So we'll measure out a cup and pour that right in here. And then we need one and three quarters cups of white sugar. So let's measure out that right into the mixer. And we're just gonna turn that on and blend it up for just a hot second. Okay, so once that's blended, like you literally need no more than 30 seconds, we're gonna add half a cup of milk. You can use regular milk, nut milk, whatever, you could make your own milk, whatever you are feeling. We'll just measure out a half a cup, pour that in. And then we need two eggs. And I know I talk about this all the time, but you always wanna make sure you're cracking your eggs on a flat surface so no shell goes into the egg. So just give it a good crack and then put it into our batter. This is one of those recipes that when my mom does call me or like brings over 900 pounds of zucchini, it's so good to make like a double or triple batch of this and then give it to everybody. Like when you're going over to someone's for a dinner party, your house is gift taken care of. All right, put this back on, we'll turn it back on. Okay, while this is going, I'm just going to dump in one teaspoon-ish of pure vanilla extract. And then we'll just turn this off and get to our dry ingredients. So, first thing we're gonna do is measure out two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One cup, two cups, and then just a half a cup to finish it off. All right, we're just gonna finish off our dry ingredients. So we need four tablespoons of cocoa powder. That's gonna give it that rich chocolatey flavor because double chocolate, obviously. So we'll just spoon four tablespoons right on top of the flour. All right, so then we need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then one teaspoon of kosher salt. And one teaspoon of baking soda. And the baking powder and the baking soda, the combo is gonna make this rise really nicely. And then we're just going to carefully turn this on super low because we don't want it to explode all over my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at that silky, delicious batter. So I'm missing one thing, zucchini. So, we're just gonna grab a grater. You can use whatever kind of grater you want. If you have a box grater, that works. And just trim a little bit of the ends off of each zucchini. We're gonna need about two cups of zucchini total. And don't you don't need to drain the zucchini, none of that. If you want the moisture from the zucchini to infuse the zucchini bread. So, we're just going to put this right on here and grate it up. All right, now that I have successfully gotten zucchini all over my kitchen, let's measure this out and see if it's two cups. So that's one. Perfect, all right, two cups of zucchini. And then the other most important thing, chocolate chips. So these are semi-sweet, you could use milk chocolate, you could use dark chocolate, you could use white chocolate, whatever you want. Let's throw a handful in there. And make sure you save a little to sprinkle on the top. I'll show you. But let's turn this back on for a second. Let everything combine. Perfect, no need to mix it for too long. You will now trick whoever you're trying to trick into thinking they're not having zucchini if that's what you're trying to do. Perfect, okay. Let's take this off. Our batter looks fantastic. Let's just scrape all this goodness off of here. 
We need two loaf pans, like I said, because it makes a lot. So we're just gonna spray or butter each of these so nothing sticks. And then we're going to carefully divide this in half between each loaf pan. Looks perfect. Okay, those look pretty even to me. Now all we have to do is dust them with a little more chocolate chips on top. So just take a handful, sprinkle it right over the top. More is definitely more. Some of these will fall, some of them will stay on the top. It's gonna look really pretty when it's done. And then these go into the oven for an hour at 350. All right, zucchini bread is out of the oven and has cooled slightly. Let's slice this bad boy open. Just make sure nothing's stuck to the sides. I mean, look at how perfect that turned out. Look at all those chocolate chips on top. And if I might add, you can't even see the zucchini. Had to check the front, make sure there are no specks of green. Let's just cut this, slice right off. Ugh, it's still steaming and look at that. Chocolate chips everywhere. I now have chocolate all over my hands. All right, you need this recipe in your life. You need chocolate all over your body, ASAP. The full recipe for this is on whatsgobbycooking.com. And now you can put an end to all your zucchini overflow issues. You're welcome.